This video is made with the sponsorship of Ecrotech New Zealand, one source for all your beekeeping requirements. Hi, Trev here from Trev's Bees on Facebook and YouTube. Today we're going to wire some frames. So I'm going to show you two methods, one using uh, the little wiring uh, braids, the 12 millimeter by uh, yeah, 12 millimeter by one millimeter braids. But 12 millimeters only that long, and my fat fingers make them extremely difficult. So I'll show you how I overcome that. But I don't uh, generally use nails for wiring. I just find they're too slow. Um, I tend to use my air stapler, and um, this air stapler. Um, if we try and focus very carefully up on the, the safety uh, tongue here I have filed a little V groove and I make sure that the wire is actually sitting in there so I don't have to try and line the wire up I use these little 10 millimeter long staples by 20 gauge I think they are 20 or 21 gauge they're pretty fine and I put two staples in each end um, we'll show you that in a minute first thing I want to show you is my wiring jig and this has gone through quite a few changes it used to have a, a cam lock on here um, but I find, found that that was a bit of a pain it got in the way and it um, wasn't always quite as easy to adjust as I thought it was so I've made a little screw adjuster on here so I can adjust this if there's any discrepancies in the frame so I've got the right amount of tension on it uh, we'll just have a look just on here over the length of this thread I have a little bit of hose so the wire doesn't get caught on it And up here, I have this slot in here, which is for full depth frames, and three quarter frames sit in here this way. I have a little swinging toggle here, so I can actually lock the frame down into place, like that, so that when I lift the wire up, I don't pull it out of the jig. But so I don't have to keep operating the toggle, I've got a little roller wheel here so that when I put the frame in all I have to do is push it down and it's put the right amount of tension on here so I put it up against that rail push it down it's in place and that's it the right amount of tension if I need a little bit more I can just give that a little bit of a wind and that's in place I screw the um, bench table to the other uh, jig to the bench got a, a bolt fitting in here and another hole here and I just screw it down so now this is all rock solid I could have also put a couple of clamps on here I use four and a half kg rolls of 0.5 of a millimeter galvanized wire. Um, I go through two of these rolls in a year. This is on a spring loaded uh, plate so that, uh, so I've got a little spring in here so that the, wheel, the roll doesn't overwind and spool off. And then I've got two blocks of wood here offset so it puts a little bit of tension in the wire so the wire doesn't spring back also so I'll show you how like, first thing I do and we're going to do um, we 
of nails first. And because I can't get my fat fingers around these nails, I use a pair of pliers to hold the nail while I'm banging it, banging the nail in. And put them down about that far. Thread the wire through. Oh, and on my jig, because of the shape of the sidebars, I have a four millimeter plate here to actually, so that when I'm banging on the end of the, uh, to bang the nail in or whatever, I don't have any trouble with the, so around the nail about four times and then bang it right in flush and then a twisty motion and that then has got no sharp burrs. Some people use side cutting pliers, I find that they're just slow and awkward. You can now use your side pliers, your pliers again and pull the wire, oops, wrong pliers. So you can feel the tension on there, pull that around there like that. The wire broke off, which is a bit of a nuisance. Bring that in. It's still not breaking off. The bloody thing. There you are. I've got a little magnetic tray here where I throw all my dagger wires. And then I just lift that up, and that's the first frame wired up. I don't like using the pliers, so I'm going to show you how I do them by hand. So, the frame, push it into place, lock that into place. Oops, hang on. Show you putting the nails in first. Check that one out. You didn't see that one. I like to use clubs. When I come through here, I tend to pull out the amount of wire that I'm estimate that I'm going to need. Make sure you don't get any kinks in the wire. And then come up here, take my glove off so you can see. Two, oops, missed. I've wired that one down a bit too far. Cut this, cut this out, champ. So we'll go around one, two, three, and bang that right in so it's flush, and that's done. Now if you want, pull them up by hand. I 
and then come down and I don't break the wire and that one's done. Lift it up. Okay, by my method, when I'm using, not using nails, which I find is very slow, which is fine for the hobbyist, I use my air gun. To make sure you don't get any kinks, just lift the wire up. And then, while you're holding it up, you pull the wire through. And that way you shouldn't get any kinks in it. Now, using the air tool, I bring it over the top of that wire, put a nail in, come around this way, so I fold it so it's come through, fold it over, and it's all done. I hold the tension on the wire with my finger on the side. So much quicker. I push it into place. Once you've got the adjustment set of how much tension you want on it, you should not have to adjust that for the whole box of frames that you're doing. Uh, and I mean, well, carton of frames. So that's a hundred, a couple of hundred frames that you're doing. They should all be machined pretty near exactly the same. Staple in, right angles, staple in. So I tend to give the wire a bit of a rub first because you quite off because the way I do it, I put kinks in the wire. So I've got a fair bit of tension on there, pull them up straight, staple in, that's it, it's now in place. Staple in, it's now done. Quick twist and a break, it's all off. So that's it for wiring frames. There's a multitude of ways of doing it. Every beekeeper's got their own method and style and type of uh, wiring board that, or wiring jig that they use. You can use a couple of clamps, you can put some blocks of wood on the bench. You can do, it, you can do any method you like. The only thing that I reckon is that it needs to be locked down to the bench so the bench can't move so you can put tension on it you can pull and twist and you can do all sorts of other things um, but I've made uh, a lot of frames and I've got my jig to what I reckon now is about perfect so that's it from Trev with Trev's Bees on Facebook and YouTube we'll catch you around in the beehive <laughs>